Hey, what's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. And one way that we do that is by talking about amazing books. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Today, we're going to be talking about Jennifer L. Holmes, The Lion of Mars. I'm a huge fan of Jennifer's stories. The Trouble with May Amelia, Our Only May Amelia, Turtle in Paradise, Penny from Heaven, The Third Mushroom, Baby Mouse, Squish, Sunny Side. I can go on and on and on. She can just tell a story and she does not disappoint here with The Lion of Mars. This is the story of an 11 year old boy named Bell who has spent his life living in a settlement on Mars. And Mars is all he knows. All he knows is this, I don't know, dozen or so Americans living in the American settlement on Mars. And there are different settlements throughout the planet. And uh, every couple of years when the Earth and Mars are closest, a like restocking Shit, shuttle or spaceship or something comes and delivers supplies. They also grow algae and have things that they make and do to try to make things sustainable and to live in this planet. It's wild. Uh, it's lonely. There are other settlements uh, that they that are around, but they don't go there. And it's kind of a mystery of why they don't go there and why they don't interact with the other settlements. And it's definitely kind of a question that's looming throughout the novel. Uh, and then finally, that being alone is not working because, and this is crazy, there's a basically a pandemic on in their little um, American settlement. Uh, and you'll find out how that pandemic came to them, which is like, how does a pandemic come to Mars? Uh, you'll find that out in the book. But then finally, they have to decide, like, are we going to try to wait this wild amount of time to get help and to get medicine or the kids are like, are we going to go and try to, to save, to save our settlement, to save our, our, our group. And uh, the kids are not sick like the adults are. It's but it's just wild. And it just, the book makes you think so much about family. It makes you think so much about what matters. It will make readers think so much about what we've given up this last year uh, during this global pandemic and how much we rely on each other, how much we need each other, what it even means to be human and, and to thrive. Uh, so many things swirling through my head as I read this book. I loved the story. Uh, I loved the characters. Uh, and Mars, what an amazing and unique setting for a book. Highly recommend if you're reading this book, read read the things after the last page, read what Jenny had to say about why she wrote this book, where she got the idea. But there's a cat on, on Mars and uh, it's it's Belle's, like Belle and the cat are really close and cat's got quite a little role in the book. So this is my cat. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for getting a little off topic. I highly recommend The Lion of Mars. If you have middle grade readers in your life, I highly recommend you add this to your classroom library, your school library, your home library. Buy it for the kid down the street. Buy this book for someone. I think it could be one of those books that ends up being a child's favorite book. This right here, The Lion from Mars by Jennifer L. Holm. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome-tastic day.